<laughs> my name is Alan Palmer. Since we're going to do this favorite most say the son that there is poor machismo. Now, what have happened? I just end that video. So I'm going to restart the video. So now, let me take some time to re invite all of these people who I have just invited a while ago. All right? Um, people, let us discuss some serious business here. Right now, while I talk freely here, I just want to tell you that last week I had this information to bring to you. And Ralph Gonzalez and his minions in California realized that they have this information. So what they did, they get this girl from the UK to bring my attention to the UK SVG Friendship Trust Company. And um, she didn't give me any information. Just said that it's, it's not right and so forth. But I went and I dig, I, so I came up with the information that I presented. When I went, I called her back and I told her that I got new information. She wanted to know what the information was because Ralph Consultant wanted to know what I got, what I came up with. Nobody, I write it, I do nothing, right? Until I present it. That was the information I presented last Thursday, right? So today, we have some information that we want to deal with here. Natasha Brown have, Natasha D. Brown have shared. Natasha, thank you very much. Right? So, let us get into this video. I'm just inviting a few more people. I'm just sending a request for a few more people to come and uh, view this video. Randomly sending a request. People, I wanted to share this video. This video is not meant for you only. This video is meant for everyone in the diaspora, especially Vincentian in the diaspora right remember we had a lame opposition in St. and the grenadines who are not doing their jobs we cannot depend on them so i have to come here me and others have to do what they are supposed to be doing we have a woman in, in trinidad named um kamala prime minister kamala i, I couldn't facade right she has more balls than the opposition in Simpson and the Grenadines. Mind Baba have shared. Thank you, Mind Baba. You and Natasha are my soldiers. You are always there. There are some other soldiers, you know. I don't even have to tell them to share. But you guys normally do live up to your due diligence and share the video. Now I am about to finish. Let me invite about 10 more people. I don't know if these people want to watch the video, but I will invite them anyway. right now people if you if you're here with me now tell me where you're watching from holy love had shared holy love wonderful tell me where you're watching from tell me where you are right now which part of the world you are situated mike brown nice to have you mike brown share this video mike tell me which part of the world you are watching us from and let us share this video so we can have a good audience so that the information does, is not stagnated and stay in one place and people say they never know this is happening, right? Let us share this video and let us share this video now. When you shared, let me know that you shared. Let me know where you shared this video from, right? So we know Holy Love had shared. Natasha have shared, right? Natasha D. Brown is watching from Toronto, Toronto, Canada. Nice to have you, my friend. You are always a loyal soldier in Toronto with a freezing cold. Let me know where you're watching from and let me know that you have shared this video. Let us go. We have, I will start in a, in a minute. Monica Spikeman Brooker is now watching. Holy Love is watching from Canada. The United States of Canada. Canada, Montreal, and Quebec. <laughs> nice to have you, Mikey, my good brother. Monica Spiteman Brooker is in the United Kingdom, and Monica have just shared this video. Oh, like, right. People, let us share this video. Now, my good buddy. Colleague, ex-colleague and friend, cousin, Clyde Loveless is in Florida. 
and Clyde have shared. Monica Spike Mambroca, nice to have you as usual. Let us get in to the business of the people. We have 12 people, 14 people. Let us go. Let us start the business. And while people here, we start the business. They're going to be sharing. Now, we all know that there is a volcanic eruption in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We all know there is an outbreak of COVID-19 in St. Vincent and the Grenadines as it is all over the world. That's why it's a pandemic. Right? We also know that when the volcano erupted, when the volcano erupted, it was said that if you are going to be housed in a government shelter, you have to be vaccinated. This, the evidence is there. The evidence is clear. Now, when Vincentian, who went away before the lockdown, returned home, poor people, regular average, average citizen, some of them were made to spend up to quarantine in a private hotel for 14 days before they are cleared to go to their homes. We bring to mind Luzard King, a Vincentian national who was deported from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Have you ever heard a national is deported from their country? Luzard King was deported from St. Vincent and the Grenadines by the lame government and the Duns Prime Minister that we have in Ralph Gonzalez, right? Because she refused to spend money to, um, to be quarantined when she has a home a home where she's living in by herself, where she could have gone home and quarantined. So they wanted to extract or extort monies from the citizens of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and that is what they were doing. Now, we have two serious things here to discuss. This is what had been happening. The tall Vincentians who were in the evacuation centers who have run from the explosive eruption in the volcano, the Sofre, volcanic eruption. If you want to be quarantined in style in a hotel, become vaccinated with a, with a white man poison that they are offering. Black people all over the world and black communities in developed countries, right? The AstraZeneca vaccine is known blood clot, heart attack, and all kind of other things. But they're forcing it in the black communities in developed countries, and they're shipping it off to black countries all over the world. The president of Iran says, the president of Iran says, the Americans don't have enough vaccine to vaccinate the population, yet they are offering the Iranians enough vaccine to vaccinate the Iranian population. The Iranian president says it is suspected that the COVID-19 was started by the Americans and that is why he will never take a gift of the vaccine from the Americans. But what comes out is forcing our people to be vaccinated, right? And he have caused hundreds or thousands of Vincentians who are unable to afford to spend upwards to five thousand US dollars in private owned hotels to be quarantined. This is a, this is a fact. Now he also said that if you're going to no, it was sent in China. Monica's hold on. I'm going to deal with this and I'm going to show you how the white people are so wicked. And how they use AIDS and Ebola in a sort in certain ways, right? Now, this is what happened. He said, Barbados and Trinidad, they have to become vaccinated. Because the cruise ship company demands that they become vaccinated. Barbados, Grenada, and Trinidad says they're not accepting unvaccinated people. Prime ministers came out and says. Vaccination 
is an issue of conscience. If the people want to be vaccinated, they can be, but it is not mandatory, right? Now, after Vincent, I would have spent upwards of $5,000 to be quarantined when they return home from whatever country they came home from. Whether they had the money or not, they had to find it if they want to go to their homes and go back to life as normal. Today, we have police officers, law enforcement officers from Barbados. And I think Trinidad and Tobago and some other countries. In St. Vincent, helping out with the, evacuate, with the evacuation process and our volcano. And none of these officers, none of them ever spend a day in quarantine. All over the world, the quarantine, the quarantine and people who have left the state are still in effect. But here we see, after demanding Paul Vincent and Spence upward to $5,000 for 14 days in a hotel, people who come to help without them being quarantined. Listen to me, people. This is not an infringement of the peacekeeping force that are in our country who come to help us deal with the volcanic eruption. I am happy that the Bajans are there. They are our brothers. And anytime we have problem, the Bajans are the first people to come and help. I am also happy. Okay. I am also happy that the Trinidadians and other people are there helping out in the situation that we need help in. Right? And whether or not the quarantine is not the issue. The issue is, we are supposed to be practicing, right? The same standard across the board. You have to remember that even if you are vaccinated, it does not stop you from getting COVID-19. It does not stop you from getting sick from COVID-19. It does not stop you from dying from COVID-19. It does not stop you from spreading the virus, right? So, the question is, why was Vincentia asked to spend upwards to $5,000 in private-owned hotels to be quarantined in this pandemic situation? But the people who are coming in from overseas to aid are not made to quarantine as our fellow Vincentians have. And remember people, this is not an infringement of, on our Bajans and Trinidadians and Grenadians, colleagues who come to help us, right? They came to help, they wanted to help. We needed their help and we accepted their help whether they were quarantined or not, right? I personally know that this quarantine thing was just a ploy to extract monies out of poor Vincentians so that, Vin, so that 12 guns was able to pay salaries from the taxes that he's going to he impose upon the hoteliers. That is all it was, nothing else. It's not that it's needed, you understand? Vincentian are a healthy people. I doubt anyone in St. Vincent died from COVID-19. We see, we see there was a death certificate that was, prepared, that was prepared by the physician of one who was under the care of a medical practitioner. And we see there when they took the, the, the information to the registry to have that death, death certificate prepared, they had COVID-19 deaths on that death certificate. But the medical practitioner who had first-hand knowledge did not say such things because the person did, or probably did not even have COVID-19. I post it on my page, it is there on my page. So, that is the first issue, right?
That is the first issue. On Thursday morning, a young lady sent me a video where she was in an evacuation center and she was told that if she get vaccinated, she will be sent to be housed in a hotel. And this young lady took the vaccine at her own risk. And she was told that it's she and another person will be sharing a room at the hotel. She was wake up in the middle of the night because they tried to sneak her out of the evacuation center unknowing to the other evacuants. And they take her to this hotel. When this young lady get to the hotel, the hotel room had in about six single beds with six other people sleeping in that same room. Now, as I said before earlier, as I said earlier, <laughs> Miss Charles is watching, Ralph Gunsa, our victim is watching. Miss Charles from New York City, she's watching, she's coming to criticize. She come to defend her rapist. Yes. When I, when you look at that situation, right, remember I said earlier, that being vaccinated does not prevent it does not pre prevent you from spreading the COVID-19 virus it does not prevent you from getting ill from COVID-19 and it does not prevent you from dying from COVID-19 so when Ralph Gonzalez tell these people if you take the vaccination we're going to put you in a hotel with a, you and another person will share a room and these people are going to a hotel room to find six single beds scattered across the hotel rooms and not big rooms, small rooms with six other people sleeping on the beds in the hotel room listen to me the only time you see these things happening is when families migrate to countries like England and America and Canada and they decide hey let us get a studio apartment 10 of us will live in the studio apartment we sleep where we can we cook we share everything right but at the end of two years we're going to buy a house right so you see 10 people 15 people cramming a little studio apartment living in a studio apartment in new york city in england in canada but they have a goal they have an objective they're going to buy a house at the end of two years because they're saving their money they're pooling their money and then after two years they buy a house they move out of the studio apartment and the tenant where people are now two in a room or one in a room that is how it happens not in a pandemic where a virus is being spread easily spread you're going to take people six people and put them in a small room to sleep you are now compounding the situation you are now putting people life at risk you are now making it possible for people to get the COVID-19 so what you do what Ralph Gonzalez and them are, what they're doing they are taking people out of the shelters that are properly spaced thanks to me who brought it to their attention that they should properly space these shelters right they're taking people out of the shelters that are properly spaced where they are safe and where the chances are small of them becoming COVID-19 positive and put them in a hotel room that the government is paying prime dollars for. And guess what? They now up their chance of becoming positive, COVID-19 positive, by and now 80%. When your chance in the shelter is 20%, now when you go in the small room with six other people, your chance of becoming COVID-19 positive is now rise to 8. If I have seen that video, that means Leacock have seen the video. 
it means um friday has seen the video it means comments and all the others have seen the video but yet they didn't see it fit to go to find out where this video come from where is this shelter and go to the hotels that are housing vincentians who have been vaccinated against the COVID-19 if these are the conditions that really exist in these hotels they're not doing that they don't care about you they're getting their salary whether you die or not they are getting your salary whether you become laboratory confirm COVID-19 positive or not they are getting their salary whether you become sick and can't breathe they are getting the salary whether you die they are getting a salary when you're dead and you do, your parents don't have no money to bury you. They are going to get the salary. They don't care about people. Dr. Friday is the second, he's not opposition. He's the second government. The NDP is the second government in St. Vincent and Grenadines. They look out for the government interests over the well-being and welfare of the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And that is simple, the truth. That is just the simple truth. I wonder if I... Eugene the Freitas Charles, one of Ralph Gonzalez victims. I wonder if she's still on there. That is the simple truth. You understand? So what are we going to do? Of course, it's going to benefit because listen to me. Listen to me. When the when the volcano, when La Sofia volcano erupted, Ralph Gonzalez sneak out and added a, a press release, and I think it's 784 News that says they might not be able to pay civil and public servant in the coming months, right? And he was asking for them to be quiet, but the only thing is it. The civil and public servants would not have seen these video, this press release. Why? Because everybody was caught up and their attention was focusing on the volcanic eruption, evacuation, and all of the nastiness that are taking place in St. and the Grenadines that are associated, that are associated with the volcanic eruption and the disenfranchisement of people in St. and the Grenadines. So you didn't hear the union speak about it, right? And the union are supposed to be concerned because when your members, when there's a threat or a chance that your members are not being paid, you're supposed to be concerned. You're supposed to be concerned for your members and you're supposed to be concerned when your members are not paid, that means the unions will not get their dues, and unions function on union dues. People. I don't know what's happening in my little country, but too much foolishness is going on in my little country, right? Too much foolishness is going on in my little country. Things that can be avoided, you understand? People are using Ralph Gonzalez in particular are using the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines for his own betterment. Ralph Gonzalez is using the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines for his own betterment. If Ralph Gonzalez get the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines to take the AstraZeneca, I remember there's about six vaccines out there, he's only pushing AstraZeneca. Why? Because when he push AstraZeneca, right? He gets commission for every AstraZeneca vaccine that is taken. Because this is what's happening. He's a salesman for the company. You have to remember the United States government and all of the UN organizations has purchased this vaccine, right? And if they are not taken, if they are not utilized, it's a waste and they might just be taken back to the company they didn't purchase them outright they purchased them on credit 
take a hundred thousand people take two doses that is two hundred thousand doses right we still not have the the cost price of one dose of AstraZeneca or any of the vaccine why is the price why is the cause of these vaccine such top secret this question we have to know we know how much for Tylenol we know how much for AZT we know how much for all of these medication but the price for the COVID-19 vaccine nobody knows right so Ralph Gonsav is a salesman for the AstraZeneca company because he wants to make money monies off of the peoples of St. Vincent and the Grenadines simple fact so now here we hear the two things right he allow Vincentians poor Vincentians who didn't have no money to find at least 5,000 US dollars on their return to St. Vincent and the Grenadines so they can spend it in a live in a hotel for 14 days for quarantine we have the foreign peacekeeping soldiers or police officers in St. Vincent and the Grenadines who never quarantine um, there is no evidence listen to me there is no evidence that they did uh, cover evidence if there were evidence of such it would have been published because they would have been happy to tell the world that this is what they did secondly they use vaccination as a bribe to have those people who were housed in evacuation center because of the volcanic eruption as a means of getting into a hotel where they have a little more privacy and so forth but when they go to these hotels they realize that in these small um, hotel rooms there were six single beds spread out along the room the duration of the room with six other people being sleeping in these same rooms which take up their chances of coming COVID-19 positive by 80% right okay now Monica Spikeman broker said that she thought the COVID-19 came from came from um, China no the COVID-19 virus is not did not come from China the COVID-19 virus is a creation of the American government right they put it in China to cover their tracks as it does everything else anytime they're going to commit a crime an international crime they cover the tracks they cover the tracks by putting the blame on the Chinese right let me show you something else that they did a few years ago and they are now just admitting to in the 80s and 90s the world was hit by the HIV virus they started the HIV virus in Africa and they said that the Africans were having sex with monkeys how erroneous that is a man is going into the wild capture a wild dangerous monkey and have sex with it the truth is as have borne out HIV is an, a, 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 a drum warfare um, weapon that was created by the gov American government they actually started it in, in, in Africa right and the objective was to deplete the African continent population so that their white peacekeepers and humanitarians would have gone into white into America into Africa the African population would have been so depleted that these white people would go back to Africa they would the African would not have had enough people to run their governments so we see the white volunteer would have take over the governments and guess what they would have taken all of the African the resources that the African continent has that they want this is just another scheme of the American government the most high is good the most high knows all things he changed the biology of the virus that is why in the initial stage of the age virus once you get it 
four months later you just three years ten years and now people are actually living with the AIDS virus the HIV virus even without being treated when the HIV virus failed to accomplish the African mission they had another virus in the background the American government went to Africa and they unleashed the Ebola on the African people on the African continent the objective of the Ebola which if you remember very well once you can check the Ebola virus in a matter of days you bled out the objective was to deplete the population on the African continent so that they can do what they didn't do for the AIDS virus so they could send in their volunteers their, 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 their heroes, their white heroes to take care of the sick African and the sick African would have died out so much that the population would have been depleted and what would happen? They did not have the resources or the manpower to run their governments. All the white volunteers now take up the government, control the government, control the resources. America now has possession of all of the resources of the African continent that they need so bad and can't get. So when you hear this, the COVID-19 started in China. It's not a Chinese disease. It's an American-made virus that was put in the China to put the blame on China because they had a bigger agenda, right? The big agenda is to deplete the world of the black community. Listen to me. The COVID-19 virus didn't affect the black community because the Most High is the creator of... He is our God, not their God, our God, right? So what they do, they come with the vaccine and the vaccine is supposed to have an adverse effect on black community all over the world. But the Most High is our God. He has promised Abraham that through his seed, he has promised I, Jacob, through his seed, all the nation of the world will be blessed. That has not yet come to pass. He can't kill us. He can't kill us no matter how hard they try. So Monica Spike, man, broke up. It is not a Chinese, it is not a Chinese um, thing. It is an American disease. My people, I thank the Mosai for the knowledge, understanding and wisdom that he has bestowed upon me and I thank the Mosai for the opportunity to share this knowledge, this understanding and this wisdom with you, my people, the people of the diaspora, Vincentians, who I love dearly. People, you know I love you, right? Go out there, live your life live a clean nice life don't go out there and do foolishness live a clean life practice honesty practice integrity because we are the children of the transatlantic slave trade we are the children of the most high the direct descendants of abraham isaac and jacob people are gone